All right, y'all. So I'm just, you know, I really don't know. Here's my thoughts on certain things. I would, I would honestly like Summer Madness one year, one year to actually be in the summer. Is is like that too much to ask? It's like it's. I don't think it's. Remember that one year it was in the winter. It was like in December, huh? Pat State Taylor in England. I think that was the year. I don't even know, but. They had a summer madness in like December. Um, I, I, I every year it's like September, October. I don't understand why summer madness isn't in the summer when it's it's called summer madness, and they always have it in the fall or the winter. Like it doesn't make any sense to me. And now you got the battle of the in the bayou. All right, and this is an app only card. I don't know when was the last uh, caffeine event. Was it uh, Ultimate Madness or was it Gnome? When was Gnome? How long? Gnome was a long time ago. So, and, and it's oddly weird because I know we haven't done this in a while, but caffeine in the month of uh, June, okay, had its best month ever, ever, okay, at nine. And I know it, <laughs> people are going to laugh, but it's it had, had 920,000 uh, hits, views. In the month of June, which the previous record was 623 in May. And then before that was 600,000 January 2021, which is featuring Math Hoffa and Geechee Gotti. So they broke that record in May uh, at 623,000. And in June, they jumped up to 920,000 views. Now, it's a uh, it's it's a far cry from what they claim where they had 1.7 million for Kings versus Queens and all these other events. Snake Eyes and Stumbles allegedly had almost uh, 800K people watching live concurrent viewers. Obviously, that's all a lie. But, uh, you know, because they can manipulate the numbers on the back end as far as um, the way they calculate the live viewership. They, they can just make it say whatever they want. But these are the hard, hard, hard numbers. 920,000 views for the whole website, not just the URL. Again, this is the whole website, 920,000 views. But again, that's a huge improvement from where they've been these past uh, two years. They're up uh, almost uh, 100%. Okay. And it's pretty, it's pretty cool that they're actually finally, after two and a half years, seeing some level of growth. There's they have been flatlined and gone downward for two years since they signed URL. It's just been a downward spiral. Um, and now finally in May and June, they found some growth. So could that, you know, could that lead to something in the future? Now, for some reason, the United States was up for almost 50 percent month to month. All right. United Kingdom up 28 percent. Canada, Canada up 153 percent. South Africa up 232%. Interesting, interesting. Um, they're still very, like, they're still performing terribly overall. They're the 71,295th <laughs> most viewed website in the world. They're the 19,446th most viewed website in America. And in the category of live streaming, Games, video games, consoles, and accessories, they're, 500, they're the 595th most viewed website in their specific category, which uh, is still is a disaster. It's terrible. It's, it's not okay. It's, it's, it's a shame, but um, their growth, all right, it's gone up. Now, we'll see how they did in July, and we'll see how August did, especially when there's been almost no URL events um, it's, uh, in August, especially. Um, so, we'll see what happens there, but... It, you know, we'll see. But it, regardless of that, all right, with the caffeine, there hasn't been any caffeine events. We've been kind of stuck with this uh, whole app only event stuff. And the app only events is very frustrating because they don't release the app on, um, only battles right away. They literally wait three, four, five, six, seven weeks sometimes before they drop these battles in an app only and it makes you wonder it's like why i don't what's the what's the sense of doing that when you pay 7.99 a month and they have an app only event as a paying customer you would expect to get those battles that week but that doesn't happen you don't get the battles for all right this battle in the bayou you probably won't get these battles until after summer madness 
You know what I'm saying? Which is it's it's wild. It doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. So it is what it is. But I just want to know why isn't summer madness in the summer? When 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 when, when who whose decision is it to not have it in the summer? And it to be called summer madness? Like there's not even any talk about it. Okay, and then URL they get. <laughs> A verb. They have this caffeine show, right? And they they bring they 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 solicit A verb to 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 host their show for one day, bro. This guy said a bunch of nonsense the entire time. It was ridiculous. Like A verb gets up there and he's just speaking nonsense. He's not saying anything. It was literally, you're gay. You're gay. It was very very gay. That's all I'm saying. And uh, I, I, it made no sense. It promotes nothing. A verb, I don't know what's up with him. He's just he just likes to hear himself talk. He's turned into a, a character and a character of of other bloggers on the internet and he's you know, he's trying to be like this personality, this controversial personality, but he's really boring and dumb. I'm not gonna lie. Like it it's not like I don't. I don't know why you and I. URL took that video down. They usually keep those up. You go to the caffeine channel. That video is down. The Aver video, where he was just speaking a bunch of nonsense. He was literally just getting up there. He, it was like he was in the spaces talking all his nonsense that he usually talks. wasn't promoting anything. Just talking a bunch of nonsense about life and 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 women. And it, it was just. It was very weird. I deem you. What? You're gay. It, it, no, was. Okay. I, it was. I deem you gay. <sighs> so, what's the talk? Like, I don't know what you got. Easy versus John John. I don't. Know, I think I don't know why even Easy would uh, the John John. I know I I've been trolling Easy of late, but look, Easy's been on a good run. All right, and he's a pretty good battle rapper. All right, and and he's gonna continue to be trolled because he is a culture vulture who tried to steal money out of Remy Ma's pocket for no reason. And that he should be, he honestly should be ashamed of himself and canceled in this community. But you know, it is what it is. But uh, regardless of the fact, he shouldn't be battling John John. He should be battling somebody like Calico or someone of that sort. I don't understand the John John battle. John John, with all due respect, I'm a huge fan of yours, but you dropped the ball in the Ace Amin battle. You dropped the ball in the Surf battle. And, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't know why you would get it easy to block Captain Battle. It just doesn't make any sense to me at this point. But uh, they're, they're talking that. I mean, what what are the other battles they're even talking about for Summer Madness? It, it, there's not really any hype. Like, what's the hype for Summer Madness? Like, what is this? Like, you you guys are reach. What is this? Levels. Ab versus Murder. Squeako versus Snake Guy. Like, what is this? It's, I don't know. It's not. They're, 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 they're retweeting it. So it's not a URL event, but whatever. If you go down there, there's no hype for Summer Madness at all. At all. Look, the, the, what is this? Double drag. J, Jazz the Rapper and Luke Castro versus Steams and J. Like, what is that? This is the stuff on URL's timeline. It's not even URL related. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they're pushing this battle in the bayou, but it's an app only event. So why, why are you promoting it so much? Like, who cares? Down to the wire. Ace Amin and She versus, like, what is this stuff? Like, this is, Battle Rap's confusing at this point. It's hard to follow it as a fan. Um, And then you, you go to, like, URL's Twitter page should be used for promotion for their, their league. And I don't know, what is down to the, down to the wire is a URL, another URL event, I guess. August 27th, um, app-only event. Ace and She versus Saga and Elijah Strait. That's phenomenal. Great. There's zero talk about Summer Man. There's zero talk about anything. Like what? What is this? Is is that Coffee Brown? Like what, 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 you're retweeting her baby. Drugs versus Shotgun Shug. In a what? Face off. They're battling. Like that was a DNA stuff. I don't know what. Mike P. More battle in the Bayou. John John. Easy the block captains got fake pages. Like this is what you get on the you don't get no summer madness talk, no summer madness hype. And it's basically summer's almost over. It's August 17th for crying out loud. So you know, what are the potential matchups? Is Surf gonna be on the card? Is Mook gonna be on the card? Is Tay Rock gonna be on the card? Is Hollow gonna be on the card? Is Geechee gonna be on the card? Like 
down to the what? Head ice versus moon. That sounds like a fire battle. I'm not going to lie, but I mean, it, it's still. Come on, man. All right. Trufo versus Mac Mel. Mac Mel. <sighs> and here's the event August 27th. So basically, you're going to get Battle in the Bayou. Then the fo- uh, app only event. Then the following week, you're going to get Down to the Wire. Another app only event. Then maybe we're going to get some Summer Madness hype leading into September when summer's over. People are back to school. Summer's over. Now you can have summer madness. It doesn't make sense. Summer madness should be in August or July, to be honest with you, when it's actually hot. You know, August is the as summer's winding down. What, what's the card here? Shotgun and Stumbles is the main event. Snake Eyes, Holmesy, Moonhead Ice, Franchise Rider, Ace and Sheed versus Asaga and Elijah. Trufo, Mac Mel, Your Honor, Young X. Your Honor, Young X sounds like Your Honor is going to 30 ball Young X. But that's just my opinion. Kid Chaos. This is like, you know. War Ready, Henny Man, Battle Academy. I ha- There isn't one, bro. There's not one mention of Summer Madness on their entire timeline. And it makes you wonder why. Why do they just? You should be promoting Summer Madness like heavy. Like when Floyd Mayweather has a fight, the promotion starts like eight months before the fight happens. All right. Even though everybody knows they're going to buy the event anyways, you still need to promote because you can sell more tickets and more tickets and more tickets and get more interest for the caffeine stream and for ticket sales and this, that, and the other. But it's like they wait to the literally the last minute. They just throw a card together and then they call it Summer Madness and we're just supposed to go um, flock to it because it's URL and it's Summer Madness and it's a name. And as a Battle Rap fan, it just it seems it's boring. Battle Rap is boring right now. It's in a boring place and um, struggling just to find anything to talk about, to be honest with you. But let me know what y'all think, man. The caffeine numbers are, are, are insane right now. So maybe they'll continue. Love you guys. Peace.